to Geeky Girl DIYs here on the Fandom Clan channel. I am Mary B. Rose and today we are doing a very special show. I am so excited. I am doing my very first YouTube collaboration and the person I'm doing it with is Ellie from the Craft Guild. Now I met Ellie on Crafty Amino. She is an amazing crafter and just a really sweet person. I love her stuff. I purchased some of her stuff from her Etsy store. This is one of her creations. I'm actually wearing her earrings. And she also makes these cozies. So part of why I'm such a huge fan of her stuff is because I do really love Hello Kitty and her stuff kind of just looks like the Hello Kitty bows, but she does other stuff and it's really cute. I really want you guys to go check out her stuff. The thing that we're doing today is that she is going to make these spring coasters and when she showed me the test run of these, I just thought they were so fantastic. They were really cute. And on my end today, I am making these kawaii themed painted wine glasses. So we have the coasters and the glasses for our spring collaboration. So with that, let's get geeky. So the first thing you guys are going to do is if you happen to have these little labels on the bottom, just use a little soap and water and they will actually come right off. If you don't have labels, you're still going to want to wash your glasses really good with soap and water to remove dirt and oils. And then when you're done with that, you're going to dry it really good and just apply a layer of regular rubbing alcohol to the outside just to give it a final once over. Then you're going to take some tape and you're going to just freehand a wavy line onto the tape and cut that out. Then you're going to place this around the rim of your glass. This is going to create an edge because you don't want your lips to be touching the etching cream spray. Go on my website and download these three little templates or you can just go on Google and find little daisies, anything will work. And you're going to take these after you cut them out. You should have three sizes and trace these onto your painter's tape. And then just cut these out. and then stick these onto the glass. Now I wanna show you guys an alternate method. What you guys can do is actually stick your tape onto wax paper and then just use like little craft scissors and then you can actually peel the wax tape off. So if you don't wanna use the X-Acto knife method, you can use that instead. Now, once your glass looks something like this, you will take it outside, turn it upside down and give it a once over of this Krylon glass spray I ended up doing two coats. You should probably give it about five minutes in between the coats. Once your surface is dry, you guys can paint it. I used the Martha Stewart multi-purpose craft paint and you can buy these as a set. I use my coupon, but feel free to use any brand you like as long as it's suited for glass. So you're going to have to read the label. All you're going to do for this part is take a little spouncer, I used a half inch one, and you just dab around the petals and create this little outline. So once the paint has dried just a little bit, you want to remove the top part only and we're just going to take either the tail end of your brush or I have this little polymer clay tool and just go around the ridges and add a little dab of paint so it creates these little dots. I do recommend letting these dry for at least a day before you remove the paint and work from the outside in so that you don't pull up any of the paint because the tape can catch and it can actually remove the paint and then your beautiful job that you did is going to get messed up. But if that does happen, you can just take a little paintbrush and just kind of fill in because it did happen with me. Once you're done with that, you can take a small paintbrush and just add little black dots and a little smiley face so you have your little kawaii faces. So when your project is all done, you're going to need to let the glass cure and you can do that one of two ways. I actually like to do both ways so that I can make extra sure it's nice and cured but you can either leave it for 21 days and don't use it, or you can bake it in the oven according to the paint instructions on the back of the bottle. 
Uh, like I said, I like to do both. And once the paint is cured, these will be dishwasher safe for your top rack on your dishwasher. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making them. As always, if you guys try these projects, please connect with me on social media and send me a picture. Either Instagram or my Crafty Mino, either one. I would love to see the projects you guys make. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. And last but not least, don't forget to check out Ellie over at the Craft Guild. You are going to want to make these coasters to go with this wine set because it just completes the set. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!